ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So we could not really utilize our kitchen, so I saw a commercial for the Dunkin' Donuts um, Sugar Plum Coffee. So John woke me up and I wanted to go try it. So I got the coffee, we're gonna try it, and then um, I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna start doing stuff for the, um, for the um, kitchen. So let's just try it really quick. Does it really, does it taste like plum or like sugary? Like what is it? It tastes like plum. I guess you gotta kind of mix it, right? It's really pretty like this. How did you mix this? Oh. It's good. It's a little sweet, but I think once I mix it more, it'll be it'll be just right. I just got mine with oat milk. I didn't add any sweetener or anything else to it. John got his with a little Splenda and some whipped cream added. So I'm going to go eat and I will show you guys our kitchen progress later on. First coat is done. It's a little splotchy because again, it's only the first coat. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it so far. So we're gonna give it a little time to dry and then we're gonna start doing the next coat. I'm hoping it will only take two coats, but it might be three. We'll see, and then I did this wall two in here. So, what do you think, honey? Fucking sucks. Hey. He loves this. He thrives off of projects. But it's, it's getting there. We'll be back in a little bit. Alright, guys. So, I didn't get to show you yesterday. Um, when I got home last night. I didn't get to show you the advent calendar thing that I opened for day six. So I'll show you that and then I'll show you seven. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you. But it basically, it's cute. It's this little like rose. And it's like, I guess it's supposed to be like for a bath. So I'm assuming it melts kind of into soap. Um, So... That I thought that was really cute. So I think you just kind of pull all the petals apart. And then for today, since today is day seven, we're going to open that one up. This is seven here. Looks like this is an exfoliating face scrub. Okay. Very cute. Circular motion. Okay. So we'll have to try that as well. So I'm going to add this stuff to my collection of warm vanilla stuff from Aldi. So we only have a few days left. Um, I'm actually going to run and uh, grab my work phone because I want to email my boss. I think I have to go back to work Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Monday. Um, I have to go to get cleared by employee health. But I'm just trying to think of 
the time frame because I have to be out for 10 days. I haven't heard anything from anyone, so I'm going to go try to talk to them and see when I'm going back. It will be nice if it's Thursday just because then it gives us one more day to kind of get stuff going here because as you can see everything is a disaster it's mess and I really just want to have this kitchen at least like mostly done and like I want to spend like half of a day just like cleaning the house like cleaning the the bathroom vacuuming like our normal cleaning that we do um but it's hard to do that with everything just everywhere because of the holiday so um I mean not the holiday the um redoing of the kitchen so I guess the nice part is if regardless of when I go back to work I'm only working a couple days this week two or three days and then I have a regular weekend off to just kind of focus on getting everything back to normal Next week, I actually was supposed to be off Monday and Tuesday for PTO, but I'm going to um, give those days back since I've been out. I think I'm just going to work a regular week next week, um, and then um, I will be... Um, then it'll take us to Christmas week, the following week, and then that week I have a few days, um, off because I actually am working Christmas Day this year, um, so I will be back in a little while, um, I just want to kind of get, continue with this painting, we're going to try to get as much done as I can today, so I will see you guys later with an update. This is after three coats we still have a few areas that we'll probably do a fourth coat like up there you can kind of see there's like it's a little splotchy but for the most part I think it's looking pretty good no more blue kitchen no more wooden cabinets Everything is white. You guys can see like a few places where we got a little paint on the inside, but we're gonna clean all that up. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. So the plan is we have to obviously let it dry we're going to push our fridge, obviously, back to its spot in the corner. Um, and then we'll let it dry overnight. We have to put a top coat on. And then tomorrow, that's when we'll do the top coat. And then tomorrow, I think we'll clean it. Maybe start putting the cabinet doors. I'm not sure. Um, maybe just clean up in here. Make sure that the kitchen's kind of usable again and then that way Wednesday I can go ahead and put all this stuff back to its home in the kitchen um I did confirm today that I'm I'm able to go back to work on Thursday as long as I'm cleared by the doctor um so I am going to be going there um, tomorrow. I'm sorry, I have to call them. I'm going to probably go Wednesday to get cleared. So that means I have one more day to kind of work on this, which I guess isn't so bad. Um, up there, you can see we definitely need another coat, but for the most part, most of it looks pretty good. So, and then eventually we do want to add backsplash to all of this area. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen yet. We did order a lighting fixture. So right now, you guys can see up here, there is um, a ceiling fan. So that's gonna come down possibly tomorrow. And um, John's gonna put up a light fixture that we ordered. Um, it's definitely different. So I hope it looks good in here, but I will show you guys that tomorrow. So I, we have some pizza in the oven that's left over from 
We went to my mom's yesterday, so we're just gonna eat that, and then um, I'm not sure if uh, what we're doing after that. So I'll see you guys later today. Hey guys, so we finally finished painting and kind of cleaning everything up for tonight, um, and it's kind of late. What time is it? Like eight? Uh, it's like eight o'clock. Eight eleven. Yeah, so it's getting late. I mean, it literally took us all day to do that. And we kind of started to fix the door a little bit, but we have to get a paint pen. You can see it's still paint on me. Um, because when I painted around the the um, the French door over there earlier, when I peeled the tape off, some of the paint peeled off. So then when I went ahead and... Um, painted without tape some of it got on the glass so I had to scrape it off and then um the um paint that I had painted isn't was coming off as I was scraping it as well so I think the only fix is going to be to get a paint pen and just do that but because we were busy doing that, we didn't get to show you much else today. So I decided um, to do a little Christmas this or that game with John. So we're just going to go through just a couple of, of questions about Christmas time, right? Yep. All right. So the first one is, what do you prefer, a real tree or a fake tree? Real tree. How come? Uh, they smell nice. They do smell nice. I like, I kind of like both because I like the fake tree because you could keep it up for long, but you can't, um, like, I like to, like, I like the process of a real tree when you get to go, like, cut it down and everything, but the, but the fake trees last longer so you could, like, put it up early and keep it up later if you want because we put our tree up usually like mid-november right mm -hmm. but i i do like to go like cut them down and stuff i think that's fun um do you prefer red or green green what like just cut like the color red red yeah why no my truck's red um, I like red too. Like I like red like on me, like clothing or nails. I prefer red. Um but I do like green too. Like I like olive green. We were actually going kind of back and forth with our bridesmaids dress colors between red and green for a little bit and we were having a hard time deciding, but I decided that um, I think I'm gonna do a red, like a burgundy color. Um, do you prefer Christmas in movies or Christmas in music? Movies, I hate music. Huh? I hate music. Why? Uh, you like music? Christmas music? Oh no, not really Christmas music. Are you going to elaborate on that? I hate Christmas music, so movies. Yeah, but like, what, <laughs> like, what Christmas movies do you like? Elf. That's it? That's it. That's not it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like any other Christmas movie? Mm, bad Santa. I like, um... What's my favorite? I like Jingle All the Way. Oh, like Die Hard. Christmas Story. Die Hard. That's a Christmas movie. I don't know that movie. I like A Christmas Story. Um, Elf. The Grinch is okay. I'm not a huge Grinch. I am the Grinch. Fan. Um, but I, I, I like it. Like, I like the character, but the movie's not like me. Me, too. me and him have a lot in common. Me do. Um, what else? Hot chocolate or eggnog? Eggnog. Yeah. Hot chocolate tastes like water. It can. Not if you, if you get a good one, it doesn't. Eh. What about, um, like, 
Do you like cook? Like, what's your favorite Christmas cookie or cookie? Chocolate chunk. Yeah. Did you ever make those? Mm-hmm. Like for Santa. Really? Like when you were a kid. I never believed in Santa. When you were a little kid? Nope. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Why? Because I never believed in Santa. <laughs> when you were like three? Nope. You really didn't? No. Huh. How come? Did your parents tell you Santa? No. They didn't? No. What are you doing? I don't like the camera in my face. Um, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? My family getting together. And what do you usually do? Have a big dinner. What's your favorite part of the dinner? The food. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> me. Why? Like, what f- kind of food? Mm, no, lasagna. What? Lasagna. Lasagna? Lasagna is good. What was your favorite Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Did you ever get like a like a bad gift that you really didn't like? Clothes. I when I was a kid, I got um, Wizard of Oz Barbies, and it was like Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Lion, and they were Barbies, and I was so excited because I got the whole collection. In a bad gift. I think I turned, when I turned like 14 or 15, like that Christmas, my mom got me a laundry hamper. And she was like, okay, it's time for you to start doing your own laundry. That was like part of my Christmas gift. But she obviously got me other stuff. It was just kind of like part of it. Um, do you have anything to add? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we're going to go relax a little bit. I'm going to go take a shower and we'll probably go to sleep at a decent time tonight because we have to wake up tomorrow and finish the uh, top coat on the cabinets and I'm not sure what else we're going to do yet. But there's just so I want to do so much stuff before I go back to work on Thursday and I know I'm not going to be able to get it all done but I'm going to try my best. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.